Welcome to Adventures in Consciousness, the interactive show that offers expansive conversation with pioneering new thought teachers and personal real-time guided journeys into the imaginal realm to access your soul's wisdom and discover how to live your greater story. Here is your host, human potentialist, soul mentor, and consciousness guide, Jennifer Ivanko. Hello and welcome everyone. Welcome to another Adventures in Consciousness, The Conversation. Today's guest is author, researcher, teacher, and master NLP practitioner, Elephantina Genziana. Before we begin, I'd like to share with you just a little bit about our guest. Elephantina graduated from the University of Turin in Italy and became a teacher and a trainer in the fields of spiritual healing and self-knowledge at the School of Meta Action and at Dominar University. For 33 years, she worked alongside Falco Tarasico, founder, artist, and spiritual guide of Dominher, and she was able to hone her skills and become an expert in the disciplines related to human potential. Her personal research and specialization is with inner personalities, while at the same time, she continues to develop her knowledge and communication and hypnosis. She is chief editor of QDQ, the daily newspaper at Dominher and has published 13 books, including a number of volumes on hypnosis, and now her latest book, Inner Personalities. Over the years, her research and studies and publications in the fields of human relations have helped hundreds of people to discover the most beautiful parts of themselves. Elephantina, welcome to the conversation. Hello, nice to meet with you. It's wonderful. I want to um, say that I have to apologize that my Italian is not very good. And, and Elephantina is learned English. She's, she's um, speaks more than one language. And I'm always impressed with people that can speak more than one language. And I want to thank you for, for being here with us. We try. <laughs> thank you. We try. It's going to be wonderful. Um, so you begin, I want to start with uh, Dominher for just a little bit. You, you moved there in the um, 1980s after college. Can you tell me a little bit about what Dominher is and why you are there? Yes, I, I was, it was not after college. I was still in the university and I was um, called because I was researching about spiritual life, about uh, natural medicines, and uh, I was really attracted for what was really unusual and um, was not so usual also in Italy. Many, many people were really not, not didn't like this kind of life. So I was with a friend of mine, just we were two students that were attracted with the same research. So when one was finding something interest, called the other one. And so we started this. One day he phoned me and he said to me, you have to come with me. There is a conference, very interesting. And there is a, one man who is um, Oberto Iraudi, that was the name of Falco Tarasaco. And so we started there. And was, uh, then I started and it was 1979. I was very young. <laughs> and then I really started my meditation path and uh, all the teachment of Falco, I never, never lose one of them. And then I started to live in the community, really living inside in 1983. And so, I am still here with the same enthusiasm. <laughs> <laughs> so so tell me, what, what is Dominer for those of people that don't know what it sure. is? Dominer is, uh, is now all over the world with different centers and starting communities but the basic point the central point the first point was here just here in in Piedmont in Italy and also in many different cities in in uh, Italy then started also um, spread over all over Europe and the world so we have centers also in USA in Japan in many places in the world and uh, what is is a way to live a conscious life to spare experiment to research what we believe our our uh, what what we feel is good a new way to live the society, the human being, and to experiment by ourselves with other people who 
share the same feelings, the same aims. So Damanur has also has developed an, an independent university founded uh, over 40 years ago. And uh, just to share all the knowledge we have and is a continuous a laboratory of research and uh, of training, of experimenting what we believe in all the things of the life. So we live together to live our, our, uh, our knowledge, to experiment in everyday life, in everything of the life. So it's really a research and is a way to live together, a community system in different ways is a way to evolve and to to evolve and to awake our soul and to um, discover human poten potential and uh, to share also to the others is a school of life. That's beautiful. I I found uh, Dom and her about ten years ago when I was traveling with my mentor uh, Jean Houston, who's one of the pioneers in human potential, and when I discovered. When I first came to Dom and Her, there was that sense of you living that that knowledge, and and that was my first experience of of everything that we research in the states or in anybody that's interested in spirituality and in these topics, to be surrounded by people that are all researching and living that. It was it was quite a um, eye opener for me and a unique experience to be there. So, and and I wanted to point out to our audience that. Um, it's been around for about 40 years, over 40 years now, I guess, in that it's known as the laboratory for the future of humankind with all the research it does in consciousness. Exactly. Yes. Beautiful. Yes. started in 1979, 75, and uh, so, and started the living community in 1980, just when I arrived. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So, so when you arrived again, what I think people are drawn to Dom and her part of it is that idea of personal research of being able to really go in deep on, on some topics and yours from what you've written is about human potential and things related to human potential and in particular inner personalities. Yes. Can you tell us a little bit about this concept of inner personalities, what, what it is and Yes, it is. <laughs> in a simple way, it is that each, each of us is a complex system of uh, thoughts, ideas, dreams, desires, way to live, uh, logics. So we have to discover that we, inside of us, we are not only one, just me, but we are a group of people, a group of characters that we call personalities, inner personalities. And uh, so uh, we suppose that nature is a fragmented part, part of uh, in the matters of the consciousness, of the spiritual part. And so this idea that is basic for us is a way to extend this consciousness in the, uh, through the space-time and entering in the matter with a divine spark that is in each one of us. So this way to put together all the parts in a universal consciousness needs to understand that each one is important and each one is a little part, a little piece of a big mosaic. And also inside of ourself, because there are fractal theories, so everything in the big and in the little is the same. So we have the same. We have a lot of parts all inside our soul and so inside our everyday life and um, we believe that universal consciousness creates multiple multi <laughs> um, individual centers of, of living and different uh, different parts because we need to put all together to reach the one of light of the conscious, of the soul, of the great soul. So we need to discover all the different parts and to be, and we believe a lot of the richness of diversity in, in the world, in the planet, outside the planet, and also inside human beings. So different cultures, different places, different, different uh, 
people and also inside ourselves. So each one is really, really precious and we have the opportunity to live in one life simultaneously, right. the, um, different, different living together. So we are distinct uh, personalities together and uh, we have to enlarge our sense of identity. This is. So this is this is interesting. So you're you're talking about the the outside of us, the groups of people that were were around, and the, the diversity outside of us. But then in in a personalities inside of us, we have these this crew, these th- different personalities inside of us. And yes. you're saying to get to know these, it's very important. Just like if we're trying to work in a group of people outside, we have to understand the people we're working with. You need to work and understand the people inside for the personalities inside yes, yes. Uh, the crew is an exactly example so it is uh, like we have a group of different characters inside of us and uh, often often it happens uh, i suppose everyone has experimented that they can be uh, in conflict one another and uh, also antithetical, antithetical sometimes they need to know how and when the other are important the other pieces inside of us the other so there are several people but each one is important because we are a group and we need to work as a group so to distinguish the different precious talents of each part and to put together to live in a in a great life in which we can use all the talents we have from the from when we born. So um, it's a way to enlarge our way to, to live the reality in every day and to, to live all the parts also to, to show themselves and to be on the stage <laughs> in different moments of the life. So uh, it is really our nature of human beings to be multiforms and to be um, composed of different personalities, different uh, uh, potential. We have a huge potential and a great asset to have so many different parts. So uh, we are human. In um, Western Western culture, to think about me, I am to have a big individuality. So, from from uh, Illuminism is very very strong this way to, to think about us, and also to want it to impose ourselves to someone else. But if we look inside our ourselves, we can see that also inside we have a conversation always that form a basic of our most uh, behaviors and uh, choices. So we have voices that say different things that call us, that say they fight, they judge one another, and they sometimes create uh, tension also inside of us and with other people. So as inside of us, also inside the others, we have always different different people who arrive so we have to manage them to discover to know who is inside our group which kind of talents we have and resources because it's really a great resource um, usually we say that um, we are used to 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 think that uh, there are psychological uh, problems schizophrenia <laughs> if we have different voices so we don't want to share and don't want to show but really everybody has so we can also say that all of us has this disease because it's not the disease it's the reality we have every day so it's really um, not a problem not a sickness but is something that is a great power we have because we can have more and more different point of view to that uh, help us to choose in the better way. It's like we have a group of people in which each one can say about his specialization, 
the point of view he has about the choice we have to do. So if we listen to all the voices, we can have really a great choice in our life and never say that is someone outside of us that decided for us, but we decide to, together. <laughs> yeah, in human potential, um, this is this is a important perception that it's not schizophrenia or you know a, a disease, it's a, or multiple personality disorder. It's a, we call it polyphrenia. You know that it's, yeah. it's yes to yes. Um, connect with all this, and I like that idea of um, listening to this conversation. We sometimes we don't pay much attention to the conversation that's going on inside. Instead, we um, the dominant or part of us will suppress some of the conversation so that it can get its point out. And you talk yeah. about um, conflict, how yes. that can. See, uh, yes, I want also to mention another thing uh, that is in recent time, really, really recent, uh, many studies in psychology uh, discovered that we have really different voices inside of us, but they usually always uh, suppose that is an extraordinary event and not usual. While we say that in a spiritual sense, a spiritual way is a normal way to be, we have to discover. And there is a new, um, the, the die, die, D and DID, that is a dissociative identity disorder that was discovered not many years ago, I suppose in, in 2015 in Germany, and then also uh, studied that there were people with, with had different voices, different voices, voices in different moments. So they were not conscious and they, um, of what they had done in different moments, because really they didn't remember they was not the same person. And was, one was also... Speaking in actual different voices, so they sounded different. different. Voices and with different action, way to action, different voices, but also, and uh, what, what science is not able to, to explain is how, for instance, they can speak with different also languages that they don't know, they didn't study, but uh, different characters inside can know and can speak and have talents that the people never studied. And also there was one, um, one uh, woman who was uh, in one personality was, she was told that she was blind. And while they, they tried it to, um, put the uh, exams of the of the tracing of the electricity of the vein. They mm -hmm. discovered that while she was in that in that uh, in that voice in that character, she really didn't have activated the the function of the view in the brain. Wow. So the really was not uh, was not uh, something that was just an idea but was really completely did by the body this is very very important for us also because we say uh, maybe later we can explain better that they are strictly connected the per inner personalities with the body and with all the function we have in our body so also now I had just discovered that another one, young boy, always German, <laughs> was was uh, but just one month ago or less in, in May, not no five five uh, maybe fifteen days ago, um, another young boy, maybe in German there are more <laughs> uh, that uh, that has ten personalities, different personalities, and uh, uh, he's twenty two. And uh, he also described all of them, and uh, he wants to to speak about this new sickness. He he says, and so they, there is also new way to social system to help these kind of people that are now now more because we started to see them. So, but uh, it's it's nice because um, when something is discovering, we have. We have more and more 
more scientists that discover also the same. So, but I wanted to say that it's also in science always discover what in ancient traditions was, was for uh, knowledge, was knowledge. So multiply personalities and voices inside of us are really something that is not just a pathology, but is just something that always is, it happens inside each one of us. And I, uh, I'm sure that you, like me, uh, has this experience. When, when I, I want to say why I arrived to this, because for me it was really, really important to discover what happened and why it happened, that sometimes I would like to answer, to react in some way, and I react really in, a, in another way. So it was really my problem. I wanted to indicate and to discover what it was. And so when Falco in 1996 started to speak about inner personalities, I was really amazed. I was passionate immediately about that because he was answering about that. So um, that um, that is that the peculiarity is that we have also a reason about what is happening and there is the, the way to manage them. If you know the, the parts you have inside of you, you can manage, manage them. So it happens that sometimes you would like to have a behavior. Maybe you want to conquer someone or you want to be very very nice with um, someone you like or you you think is important for your for your work or for other things but some part of you arrives and do what wants and you wanted to do the same and then you have another voice that say ah you have done again you are guilty and so on so you have always inside your your head or your heart, you have always different voices that judge and say it's good, it's not good, what have you done, you have to do this, you are you are guilty, and so on. So it's usual for each one of us. And the most important thing I would like to suggest to each one of us is never judge. Just just take time and uh, and also joyful way to discover all the parts you have inside and to, do, and to discover why they are, are acting like that. Because there is a reason, always. It's, you know, that idea of observing rather than judging and, and, and being um, in a playful way, when you observe, you can engage these other parts of yourself rather than judging and, and putting them down, I would think. Um, I, I, and, personally know that experience of when you you I think we all can relate to wanting to do something at one point like a relationship or some situation and then something it feels like almost like we've sabotaged it something else comes in and we're a totally different person than we wanted to be when it happened when during the event and so that you know I'm fascinated by the idea that we can have these gifts and talents inside of us that we can access in these other personalities that maybe the disorder is the lack of communication between our different personalities and not the fact that we have these different characters these different personalities to be able yes. to know a different language you know yes they have they have also about body language different if you look at you in the mirror yes they are really you change face you change the way to speak you change the gesture you change everything and also you change for instance the um, apparent uh, apparent uh, how you face to the other how you like to dress and also maybe the movie the films you would like to see or the books you would like to read and also, it's really nice to discover how you change the calligraphy while you are writing, of course, by hand. <laughs> you can discover how it is changing. And it is because each personality has a different way to write and a different way to do everything. So you can also start to look 
look at you while you are in front of a mirror and discover who I am now, how, what is, what I represent now, what I can find in the mirror, just if it is not you, just discovering for the first time and in a, in a funny and joyful way and to discover in a, as a researcher of yourself. So to look at you and say, oh, but this it seems, uh, seems uh, a teenager, <laughs> 15 years old, and it looks, it looks like a man, a young man, not. So, and how it, it looks, it looks uh, maybe a little bit uh, not, not, not able to work. She, he looks like he wanted to, to have a party or to have a, to go, to have a, a run in, with a bike. And maybe it's important to know and to understand that you have different parts. So to discover different characters and discovering, just observing you and really, I recommend, please never judge. Never judge yourself, but just understand what is happening. Just take care of what, what they need, what they are asking to you, what, why they are exiting just now, immediately maybe, and maybe they are changing the plan you had, you had before. Because they want to say something, they want to act and to be recognized for what they are. So it's very, very important to discover the group you have, because it's a big team, it's a great team. They are the team that are, for you, the way to, to reach the evolution in your life, to reach the enlightenment, if you, if you use all together in a balanced way, in a harmonizing all of them. And it is possible only if you use love with one and the other parts. And the same is with the other pe people, the other person, because each one has the same. So like me, also the other has. And this is very, very important when you are in a conversation or dialogue or everything with other people that happens many, many times that we have the same way to act and react. And sometimes we can before just preview the words, the way to say what the other has to answer and you answer again, because it's always the same film that you reproduce again, again, because are the same personalities that are talking one to another. But if you change, if you try to change your part, you're sure that also the other one will change his own because we'll be surprised. It's not the normal film, so you can change what will happen later. I want to. I so I want to clarify that just a little. So we're, we're talking about, because uh, I love this, and, and we'll talk more about it after the break, but I wanted to just be clear that we're talking about when you're speaking to another person, that a different personality, a different character can be actually speaking, and that other person you're talking to has their characters and their, so you're, it's like this whole group here, one is choosing to talk to that whole group there out of that personality. And exactly. And I, I'd really like to talk more about that when we come back from our break. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. We'll be Thank right you. back. Real Conscious Connection. Ohm Times Radio. IOM FM. Ohm Times Magazine is one of the leading online content providers of positivity, wellness, and personal empowerment. A philanthropic organization. Their net proceeds are funneled to support worldwide charity initiatives via Humanity Healing International. Through their commitment to creating community and providing conscious content, they aspire to uplift humanity on a global scale. Ohm Times, co-creating a more conscious lifestyle. Hello, I'm Sandy Sedgbeer, host of Ohm Times Magazine's flagship radio show, What is Going Om? My passion is sifting through information, research and innovations from new thought teachers, speakers and researchers pushing back the boundaries of what we know about life, energy, metaphysics and the universe. I love shifting perceptions about who we are, why we're here and how quickly impossible becomes normal when we open our minds, expand our awareness and accept that the only limits that exist are those we place upon ourselves. 
So if you're the kind of forward-thinking, eager investigator of what lies beyond the current reality that most perceive, why not make a date to come play with me in the field of possibilities at 4pm Pacific Time, 7pm Eastern Time every Thursday, and together we can discover what's really going on. There is no greater mystery in life than you. So why not take a fully experiential plunge into the depths of your being to uncover and retrieve all the secrets and wisdom your soul is crying out for you to know. If you enjoy Adventures in Consciousness, the conversation, you'll love Adventures in Consciousness, the course. Join Jennifer in this unique 13-week series of journeys specifically designed to unlock the mysteries of yourself. Each week, you'll journey progressively deeper into the meta realm where, freed from the limitations of your mind, you'll get to play and explore the inner and outer reaches of your awareness. The next series of Adventures in Consciousness, the course, is starting soon. Find out more and stake your place at jenniferivanko.com. There was an old woman who lived in a shoe. She had so many children, she didn't know what to do. She gave them some broth without any bread and kissed them all soundly and put them to bed. Hunger is a story we can end. End it at feedingamerica.org. So welcome back. You're listening to Adventures in Consciousness, the conversation with my guest, Elephantina Genziana. And uh, we were just talking about the inner crew, the multiple personalities that we have inside of us and how they actually interact with other people outside of us. And we were had to interrupt it for just a moment. So let's go back to that conversation. <laughs> Yes, please. Uh, yes, the reason of, of this behavior is that we must always deal with automatism we have. And so we repeat always mechanically actions and behaviors and answers and uh, way to be and to act and to react. And uh, because we repeat with the same character, with the same perso- personality. And uh, this is because um, it, it is that each one of our personality, personality is connected with our memories, what happened before. So reuse the same memory that has. You know that our brain is used to use the less energy that is possible. So, to, so repeat the same action because it was just known. And so is a way to that was uh, starting uh, for the ancient, ancient time we needed to have uh, for survival the best, the quick way to exit from a situation. So repeating the same, but now with different, different uh, I want to say civilization also, if I am not sure that was like this, um, so little by little we change and we use also other emotions and uh, then also the analytic way to this, to to act but sometimes also if we would like to use what we think that is the best way we react with automatism that are useful for speeding up uh, the processes and the uh, responses but in many, many cases in our everyday life are enslaving way to, to be. So we became slaves of ourselves. So instead of uh, living life as a protagonist uh, and uh, deciding what you want to do, really we are guided by something that we don't want to do. We don't want to be. We don't choose, but we do. Is the same way every time. So we debate, we argue with people, we fight with people, we, we fight with ourselves. And that is because we are not aware of what is happening. So we don't think enough about, we don't 
about what the consequences of what we are doing. We don't have the time to stop and to decide what really we want to realize. We want to be, to, co to cause, but becomes like a, a chain. So every, every, every behavior repeated became a chain in which we are slaves. And uh, so we, we can discover this. If we discover the mechanism, if we observe what is happening without judging, mm -hmm. but we observe and we laugh about what is happening again, happens, mm -hmm. what is happening, what caused this? which kind of behavior someone else is causing inside me. But remember that always we have the, the full responsibility of what we are doing. We cannot say is someone else who uh, make me doing it like that. It's us a responsibility. Only we have ourself. Yeah. always our responsibility. So we have to understand how we are reacting in this, in this way how we can change and how choose what we really want to be. So um, maybe there are there is simple things, the nuance of the of the voice in someone, the that create anxiety or make uh, make uh, us um, being being anxious or nervous or more relaxed. Everything can happen around us, from other people, from the environment, from everything, and we always react without thinking. So we have to understand how, how this is calling some feelings inside of us and calling some reaction. Mm -hmm. We are used to justify ourselves, saying, eh, that's that's is how I am, but it's not a justify. We have to manage how we are, and we can learn to do that. We can learn to manage our our being and to learn how which kind of characters we have, why they are playing that show in that moment. <laughs> so the only solution is to educate ourselves. We cannot ask to the other to change, but we have to educate ourselves our identity, our automatism and behaviors to distinguish and to do in the direction we decide to do. So to become aware in order to choose a new path we want to realize. So we have to preview and realize what we want to realize. This is the whole evolution way to live and not just to be like animals that react to what is happening outside. We have to be able to distinguish and decide and also be able to uh, recognize that we have, we can do mistakes. It's normal. It's normal. There are errors. Okay, we can learn from errors. It's never to judge. It's never to judge and never to judge that someone is, you are bad. No, maybe you can say your behavior in this case, I don't like. It's very different. And also my behavior in, my, in this case, I don't like, but it's not all the system that is bad. It's never to judge the system, but to understand that to have experience of what is happening, to change to have the opportunity to evolve inside with the other characters inside of us and with the other people. So we remember that always what is happening is expressing some needs. And uh, also uh, is maybe is expressing some memory we had. We don't remember, but it is like a, a is it, triggering. A, a, is something that is uncreated inside of us. So it's not a fault, it's not to be punished, but it's a need to be understood and changed. Beautiful. So it's it's interesting because you think of being triggered, these memories being triggered, and now we have this other layer of understanding that is 
not only triggering you, but it's actually triggering different personalities to come forward and react. And when we are unaware, um, we get stuck in those habits, in those uh, ways of reacting. Um, they, they talk about the only way to evolve or to get what you want is to have that pause between a desire and an action. We tend to, um, I mean, an action and a, and a um, result. We tend to be triggered and then we react, but we don't pause for a moment to consider what it is that we're reacting to, to take a moment and see who's reacting, who is present in that moment. And why am I reacting to that person who is present there? So yes. it's beautiful. So always about you, so about ourselves, always saying who is, who I am now, why I'm doing like this. And uh, so remembering that reaction always originates from what we have experienced in some way before. So that personality has, has uh, the experience before, so has learned something. Before. So we have to understand this. This is the way to change that. And uh, also we have to remember that always what happened is not objective. It's not the real. It's not the real. It's the, the, the map is not the territory, you know. So it's not the behaviors are uh, always behaviors and uh, is something that is in our perception. The important thing is how we react in our perception is not that something is really happening. So the filter we use are the personalities that colors what the events and everything around us and inside of us. So when you say, I don't know if you use also in USA, but in Italy we use a lot the lentis. We say we see with, with pink red, pink yeah. lentis or yeah. black lenses. So yeah. it's the same. It's expressed very, very well the different personalities. So the things outside could be the same. If you are falling in love, you see everything well, soft, joyful. And if you are very anxious for some problems and troubles, you see everything black. But it's the same. It's not around of you that is changing. It's inside of you. So we can we have the ability, we can use the ability to, to look for the, the parts we like and we need that make the life uh, joyful and, and lighter. Because it's the same, we can use different parts to live the, our life in a good way or in a bad way. It's a choice. So choosing different personalities is like choosing different lenses to look through and experience. Exactly. What you, beautiful. Exactly. Exactly. And also, so we can also uh, have some, some way to discover how to do it in a very, to do it in a very simple way in everyday life. We can see, we can look at us and discover that, for instance, we can like some food in some moments and in other moments not. Or we dress with some colors, with some particular personality, and we use other or we feel well in some dresses and clothes and in other moments we don't feel because are different personalities so also to recall a personality you can just put the dress take have a shower and put the dress that is the dress that the other personality can like maybe it changed something move go outside take uh, your time five minutes running and uh, Changing movement, move, moving your, your body because the personalities are, are inside our bodies. So move, change completely what you are doing just for a few minutes and then you can change your personality and then you can start again to do the things. I think for, that's very important to point out because, you know, the different personalities move differently or, or dress differently. And, and you're, you're giving us an example of how to recall these personalities just by getting in a different... So almost getting to know these different personalities would be important so we could start recalling the ones we want. You, you do a lot of um, exercises in your book 
in, yes. in, in our personalities. You want to talk about that a little bit? Yes, in the book, uh, in every chapter, I, I put you the exercises to understand how it is in a practical way you can apply what I with, what I share with the others. And it is really, the first thing is always to observe. To observe how do you feel? How, how I am? How I look in the mirror? How I feel in myself? Which kind of gesture I'm doing? Everything. So observe from outside. How I am now in the moment in which I like myself or not, because I have to discover. You can see also that usually what we hate in other people is something we have also inside ourselves. So look at this with a new curiosity. So maybe someone is doing something you don't like and just go outside and, and suppose that maybe you are doing the same in other moments. And look at that. Maybe you can change your behavior because, because you can see what is happening, what you see in others, the behavior, the behavior you don't like to have. So is why you judge them, because you are judging yourself, but you maybe don't know, don't realize that you are doing that. So maybe you can discover, looking, just observing without judging, but always write, also write down what you discover, because you can use in different moments. And always, always you can have a really different exercise uh, to, to discover who you are and what you want to recall, just doing what you like. So, so you can, dis because our personalities, basic personalities, because there are different categories but the basic there are at least five personalities that every day are turning in our guide guiding ourselves five. So, five yeah every day we have at least five personalities that are turning so if you look at you in the different different moments in your life look at you means also if you can look at in the mirror observing what is happening how do you feel in your body, in your emotions, how what you would like to do if you was was possible, and how do you and you just write down. You can discover different different personalities. Some of them are in the current moment. Some of them maybe not. So you can start to know the group that is inside of you. So uh, it's like discovering. Uh, a group, a new group of people who has to work together. So you have to discover who they are, what they like, what, what they are able to do, the talents, their problems. So, and so you can ask them to appear when you need for the, in the current moment. So not only to, to be slave of them, but just to ask to become friends of them. So it could be really a new way um, with an innovative point of view that differs from the basic uh, view of psychological theories that consider um, a disease. is really a richness to have, uh, to have many, many different parts because we can have many, many talents we can use, many different possibilities. For instance, some, sometimes we need uh, uh, the researcher or the scientist, the logic people, but sometimes we need a very, very soft, uh, embracing, um, uh, generous people, or someone we need someone who is joyful and playing and with light uh, and able to, to smile and to laugh about everything. So we can need all the parts adults, young, child, or, or old people. They are all precious. It's really precious. Wow. So, so you, I want to mention again, you have a new book called Inner Personalities, and you can, um, it's available on Amazon. Um, I'll also have it on my website where you can get a hold of it. Um, but I really love that this, there's a lot of research, but there's a lot of courses that offered at Dom and Her that, and you yourself teach about inner personalities and how to uh, yes. connect with these. 
there are uh, yes in if you go in uh, I, I suppose you can also share the the university Damani university references so i teach uh, i teach this yes i have also session individual sessions and i am writing finishing that second book of, about personalities that oh, is the uh, yes because the first was about inner personalities the second is inner personalities in different groups so managing one with with the other outside of us the first was inside of us and so and then will be another one and um, so yes it's possible always to share to the courses are more different kind of uh, joy way to discover all the different parts we have inside of us with other people so it is very dynamic also with with theory because there is a big theory that of course now I didn't have time enough to 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 share and to explain but there is a big theory that also explain why we are like this what is happening why in the, the evolution system of the universe we are in this way so is a um, a really a spiritual path that explain also in time life what is happening and um, so it's very very practical all the courses in Damano are very very practical because it's a way to act what we say as we do in our everyday life so to act to experiment and so it's joyful it's also very 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 funny it's also possible we have also online for now i have only done it in italian but we can translate there are the webinars and, and so on and we can also organize in different places in the world <laughs> so if you're interested in learning more about that you can reach out to me at jennifer com, or you can um elephantine is um Email address is elementina at dominher, D A M A N H U R dot org. Um, also, I just I wanted to go back one thing you'd mentioned about how we um, we often can look at somebody else and not like a certain behavior. We could judge it and say, oh, I don't like, and, and how that is really a reflection of what's what you have inside of us. And it just hit me that the personality that is not liking that might be the personality that doesn't do that but then that means another personality so of course in that moment we're judging and saying i don't like that because we feel like we don't do that even though we hear this thing oh it probably is inside of us but that makes sense now that another personality <laughs> would be doing that because it's a complex system yes yeah. it's a complex system because there are different voices and different parts inside of us that love each other or hate each other so we have to create a group in which everyone is of the characters of the personalities learn the others and so learn how to appreciate the others and to understand when one is useful and when one is not useful so to call the correct one when we need and not in the opposite way for for example if one could be a great professor and scientist and the inside of us another one is a great cook of course it must be the perfect moment because if you exchange them they are both very important but in, in the current moment if the if they appear in the different moment they are really an obstacle for us so it could be funny if they have humor but could be very terrific if you use in a different way. <laughs> so we have to distinguish what we have. And what a what a beautiful talent to be able to have that professor come out when you need to speak and to be able to not be sabotaged by the cook popping in. Yeah, beautiful. <laughs> so there's a, there's a lot we could go so deep in this conversation. I really appreciate your time, Elephantina. Um, and I look forward to maybe having you back before the, when the second book is ready as well. <laughs> I appreciate your time. And thank you so much for joining us. I want to mention um, next episode, we are going to have our, our experiential journey. Um, and we will play with inner personalities a little bit in the experience. We'll take a journey into the uh, inner realms of our personalities. So please join me on our next episode. And until then, 
Have a beautiful day. Thank you. Thank you.